Hi guys, so let's look at this next question from uh, next question here from CAT 2020 slot one. Okay, so again a good question of graphs. So it says that the area of region satisfying the inequalities mod x minus y less than equal to one, y is greater than equal to zero, and y is less than equal to one is what? So first of all, this graph is important for me. I need to draw this mod of x minus y is less than equal to one. So always draw the graph of y against x, right? So that's that's the uh, many people what they did in the exam they just don't know they don't they just don't know how to draw this graph right it's very simple actually just draw the graph of y against x okay you cannot look in the first go but in the, in the second go you can just look at this right for example if i write remove this inequality so mod x minus y is less than equal to one now remove this inequality you can write mod x minus y is equal to one so you can write y is equal to uh, can take y this equal to mod x minus 1 now it's a very simple fairly simple graph right i need to draw y is equal to mod of x minus 1 okay so if i remove so let's first draw the graph of y is equal to mod of x minus 1 so i know that what is the graph of mod x here okay so for example uh, if i draw this This is the y against x part. Now this is the graph of if I if I draw this is the graph of y is equal to mod x, right? So now if this is the graph of y is equal to mod x and uh, I need to draw y is equal to mod x minus one. Okay. So once I need to draw y equal to mod x minus one, that basically means what? The graph will shift one unit down. This is the graph. This is the graph of y is equal to mod x. Now, once I draw y equal to mod x minus 1, the graph will go 1 down. Okay. And this will be actually the graph of mod x minus 1. Okay. So, that's the graph of y if I draw another one. So, I just shift the graph 1 unit down. Okay. Now, this is the graph of y is equal to mod x minus 1. 1 unit down. Okay. Now, obviously, uh, if you look at this, this is uh, y axis, this is x axis, okay, uh, this is again uh, y, y negative, x negative, okay. So now there's a graph of y equal to mod x minus 1, and now I need to see the portion of the graph that is y is greater than or equal to 0 and y is less than or equal to 1. So y is greater than or equal to 0 is y, what part here? So basically, y 0 means x axis, no? x axis means y is equal to 0. So the graph which is above y equal to zero. So I need to look at this upper region of the graph, right? All this upper region is y is, is above y equal to zero, okay? Now similarly, y should be less than equal to one. So let's say y equal to one is at this point. If y is equal to one is at this point, then this is the line of y equal to one. So if I draw here, uh, that's the line of y is equal to one, okay? So graph should be, above y is equal to 0 and less than y equal to 1. That means graph should be in between this region. Okay. So I need to find the uh, area of this region, right? Yeah, area. So I need to find the area of this shaded part here. So now if you observe, so let me just uh, make it like a black, uh, with a black outline here. Okay. So if you just observe, it is a trapezium here. This is a trapezium. Okay. So it's a trapezium. Now, what is the length? What is the length here? So what I can directly, uh, or, or what I can, you can also do is this area of full triangle minus area of uh, half triangle. This is also you can do, or you can simply do it for trapezium also. Okay. So now, once I shifted this graph one unit down, so this is this is this should be minus one and this should be plus one. Right. Why? Because you've shifted the graph one unit down. This is mod of x minus one. So once you shift the graph one unit down, okay. So if you shift the graph one unit down, this graph. Huh. So now graph is intersecting x axis here. So once the graph is intersecting x axis here, you put y equal to zero. So once you put y equal to zero in this equation, zero equal to mod x minus one. So mod of x will be equal to one. So x equal to plus minus one. That means this is plus one is minus one two intersecting points here okay now also uh, the, now this graph is intersecting with y equal to 1 so this understand this guys so this this point i need to calculate here okay this graph is intersecting with y equal to 1 
so now graph of mod x minus 1 is intersecting with y equal to 1 so i'll simply put y equal to 1 here okay so mod of x minus 1 equal to 1 that means mod of x will be equal to 2 that means x will be equal to plus minus 2 that means this is the this is the point here this point would be a 2 comma 1 because y is still 1 x is 2 and this would be minus 2 comma 1 correct so now I, I got the length of this, uh, I will get the area of this trapezium, right? So this is a trapezium, so the black outline, no? So with the black outline, I've, this is a uh, tra trapezium, okay? So let me name it A, B, C and D. So black A, this A, B, C, D is a trapezium here. Now, what is the area of trapezium? So area of trapezium will be equal to half into sum of parallel sides into height okay now what is sum of parallel sides here so this length is how much so this length would be 2 uh, this length is somewhere minus 1 to plus 1 this length is 2 minus 2 to plus 2 this length would be 4 okay so half into 2 plus 4 into height height is this part this is the height here okay this is 1, no? This is 0 to 1. This is 1 unit, right? This line is 1 here. So 1. So this would be, answer would be about half into 6 into 1. So answer would be 3. So 3 is square units is the area of this region. Okay. And also what you can do that in from this full triangle, also how you can calculate that? You can also calculate by, uh, let's say it is E here. So area of triangle AEB. So area of triangle AEB minus area of triangle d e uh, d e c okay so this is how also you can calculate that okay so multiple ways of doing that right so you've already got this okay thank you hi everyone so we have this combat test on 29th of may at 12 pm so keep giving these small tests uh, uh if you have not completed your syllabus uh, even 80 percent or 70 percent so i don't uh, uh, we recommend giving any full length mocks, but these small tests of 30 questions will will really help you uh, help you a lot. That will be for like your preparation check, how's the preparation going on, in which questions you are feeling comfortable in actual timings, in which questions you are not feeling comfortable. So it's basically a good test for all of you. And this will be 30 new questions, unique questions. You won't find these questions anywhere. Okay, and it's a 60 minutes test. Uh, uh, of course, a lot of prizes are there to be won so that's fine okay that's another motivation also many people get uh, scholarships also okay so this is uh, more than hundreds of hundred of people get a scholarship in this on plus subscription so you can give this test on may 29 at 12 pm and if they ask for any code you can use my code ravi roda there okay so that's absolutely free of cost okay so you can give this test at 29th of may at 12 pm yeah thank you